Oh, hello. Welcome to another Rust Toy Reviews video. Today again, we're looking at some Lord of the Rings figures from Diamond Select Toys. We have the Lord of the Rings Wave 3 deluxe action figure of Aragorn with Sauron parts and the Moria Orc with Sauron parts. These are the same figure right over here. I want to give a big thanks to Diamond Select Toys for sending all three of these figures out my way to talk about with you guys. Um, I don't mind having more than uh, one of these orcs, so I'm kind of stoked to have more than one of them. But yeah, the packaging's the same. I'm going to put this one aside already, and that started spilling right there. So anyway, uh, this Aragorn looks pretty accurate already. I like what Diamond Select Toys has been doing with the Lord of the Rings figures uh, so far with this whole Sauron Build-A-Figure wave. It's been working out pretty well, I think. And you could see product shots of the figures. You could see the Wave 2 and Wave 1 figures over here. Wave 1 being uh, the Gimli and Legolas. Uh, they each have their own unique read-up. So for Aragorn, it says, This deluxe action figure of Aragorn is based on his appearance in Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring. It features approximately 16 points of articulation and character-specific accessories. It also includes a part to build Sauron, collect the first six figures to assemble the 13-inch figure. And then it says this uh, deluxe action figure of a Moria orc is based on his appearance in Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring. It features approximately 16 points. Okay, it's the same thing. And on the side, it says Lord of the Rings, and then not much more on the top or bottom. So let's open up these oh, figures. Here are all three figures out of the box. Uh, again, these two are the same exact thing. Uh, I gotta say, this Aragorn figure is really badass. I really like both of these figures, but I'm gonna go ahead and move one of these off to the side right here so we don't get confused on the accessories uh, for the orc right here uh, you get this sword uh, that you can clearly see right there so that's really cool uh it has some paint detail on it let's see if we can get in closer right there you can see a little bit of the brown over the black can you i think you can it looks pretty dope to me uh we also get this spear which again has some subtle paint detail on it which, again, I think is dope. And then, of course, you have the interchangeable head right there. Now, the eyes are very cross-eyed on this figure, and I don't know exactly why, but, yeah, the <laughs> those eyes are really cross-eyed, and it's like that on the other one, too. So it's not like it's just uh, this particular copy. And then this one right here, you can see the eyes are looking through the peepholes and everything just fine. So it's not like the orcs are permanently cross-eyed. You know, less cross-eyed right there. I really love this cast iron sculpt right there and the brown and everything over it. Just looks really good. Really pleased with this. Love how the whole figure looks too, by the way. That the chainmail looks really good. Love the skin detail that you can see right there. So man, a lot of awesome stuff going on with these. Really like these quite a bit. Uh, these Lord of the Rings figures, I think, are the best uh, Lord of the Rings figures ever made. I really dig them a lot. You get the orc ditsies right there. So, yeah, man. Very, very cool looking piece. Really like it a lot. Oh, man. The skin. Adding all that detail right there. Looks great. And then Aragorn comes with two swords. So you can see that he's got the sword in his hand right here. And that looks pretty dope. You could put that in the sheath that's on the side, but you also get this sword right here, which I really dig a lot. This looks dope with all that detail on it and everything. Nice gold. Looks awesome. Pull it out. You can see some stuff. Is this elvish stuff written on it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to pretend I know. Somebody knows. And then you have the torch right there, which looks good with that translucent orange plastic. And this head sculpt looks really good, man. Jeez, I think they really nailed it. I can't remember the actor's name off the top of my head. Forgive me. I was going to say Gary Sinise, but no, it's not Lieutenant Dan. Um, <laughs> which would have been hell funny if I thought it was Lieutenant Dan. Hell not Lieutenant Dan. Um, it's got a little bit of red right here. So, um, yeah. He's, looks like he's a fan of the Red Wings. And uh, you could see, or he's got the Red Wings anyway. And then you could see the white right there. And... Yeah, the hair looks really good, and I like the sculpt. The apparel looks great on him with the stitching sculpt added right there and everything. Uh, we have some color variation with brown dirt added at the bottom. I love it when companies do that with the realistic detailing. Uh, this comes out of the sheath uh, right over here. I forgot to show that off earlier, but I love that you can take this out. 
So that's really neat. You can see the details on it. I'm going to port that right back in. So happy to have weapons that, you know, have actual storage and everything. But yeah, I like the variants of browns right here. Touches of silver right over there. He's got the ring right over here. And yeah, some more mud throughout on this guy. Looks really good, man. Very, very pleased with these figures. These things are all pretty badass, I think. Uh, the articulation gets a little tricky, but it's not bad by any means, you know? It won't look up too much, but you get side-to-side -side movement, some head pivoting. Shoulders will move outward that much and downward. You could rotate a full 360. It has a bicep cut, double-jointed elbows. The wrist turns side-to-side. -side. I think they're on just ball joint. Oh, no, they have hinges right here. Then you get the torso, diaphragm, moves forward and back. Uh, no waist cut right here, but the legs will move outward a bit, like that. And you can see it'll kick forward that far. I'll try to get a little farther away from the camera, move back. Upper thigh cut right there. And then the double jointed knees. And then no boot rotation, but the ankles will move down. They move up, and he has beautiful ankle pivot. So I just really broke into that right there. And then the orc. Uh, the head will turn side to side, move back and up right there at the head. Good head pivoting as well. Then the shoulder will move outward, inward, move forward and back, bicep swivel. It doesn't really move outward that much. You need a point. And then great double jointed elbows. And then the wrist turn side to side and hinge up and down. You get the diaphragm cut here. Pivot forward and back. This material is soft and flayed out so you could bend them forward. And then no waist cut. Doesn't feel like, oh, there is a waist cut in there. And, oh no, that's the upper thigh cut, <laughs> sorry. Legs will move outward, uh, kicks forward, and not back. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, and then the ankles move down, up, and beautiful ankle pivot on this guy as well. So, yeah, these guys are very well articulated. I really appreciate that. Let's get into some size comparisons. Or well, before size comparisons, we can measure them out. You can see the orc is standing at around six inches, and Aragorn is standing at about seven inches tall. To get the Series 1 figures out here, you can see we have Legolas right there, and they stand more or less uh, about the same height, or he stands about as tall as Aragorn anyway, and then you can see Gimli right over here, stands about the same height as the orc. So we also have our Series three figures. Uh, we have Frodo right over there, and we also have Nazgul right here. So those are all the Diamond Select Lord of the Rings figures out so far. Well, actually we have uh, the Mork and Gandalf, so stay tuned for that. I will have reviews of those figures coming up soon, so stay tuned, yeah. I'm really digging these Lord of the Rings figures a lot. Uh, these are all of the uh, Sauron Build-A-Figure figures, by the way. So I have all the Build-A-Figure pieces right here. Uh, he is not built yet, but I will do a separate video building this guy, and you'll see him, you'll see me put him together. So stay tuned for that, and then with the, uh, and I busted the leg on this guy right here. I have another spare copy though. And um, I wanted to show these off next to uh, the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So you can see that right over there. So pretty sweet, man. Uh, yeah, the le aside from the Legolas figure breaking, and that was a very early copy and I got that replaced and everything. Uh, I think these figures are amazing. I can't wait to build the Sauron figure, so stay tuned for that video as well as the Gandalf and the Orc. Hope you all have a good day. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, don't forget to show the love. Oh yeah, the love goes a long way. So don't forget to, to give that love by hitting a like button. And I'll see you guys next time.